Hello, and welcome to Tech Boost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install both powered and non-powered video cards into the HP Z440 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you may need a Phillips head screwdriver. We recommend going through this process with the workstation on its side to have better access to the system's interior. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about video card compatibility for the HP Z440. To begin, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the blue light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. Please be sure to check the manufacturer's system manual and comply with their recommended safety instructions. To open the system, Lift the latch found on the side, then remove the panel to reveal the interior. Set the panel away from the system. To install a video card, identify the tabs holding the slot cover retainer in place and lift the mechanism to allow access to the slot covers. Remove the slot cover. You can now install the video card. Ensure you pull back on the green motherboard tab if needed and press firmly down to ensure a proper install. Some cards require power. Connect up to two power cables to the video card as needed. Larger video cards will need a mounting bracket. In order to install the mounting bracket, you will simply mount the bracket to the end of the video card as shown. Ensure the thumb screws tighten all the way. Once finished, install according to the previous instructions, but ensure you also align the bracket with the bracket slot in the computer system. Lastly, reattach the panel. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and video card installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.